if you're watching this video, you're probably wanting to know how to split an array. Don't worry, I'm going to show you. What will you learn today? Today, you will be learning how to split an array to solve bigger number multiplication equations. Your success criteria. I can split up an array to solve, a, to solve bigger number equations. I can show my workings out. To illustrate how to split an array, let's see what happened earlier today. I love arrays. Da, 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 da. Miss Harper, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just drawing an array. Your array looks good. Thank you. I just love arrays because I like organising them into rows and columns so I can easily see how many dots I've drawn. How many dots have you drawn, Miss Harper? Oh, that's easy. I can use multiplication to work that out. So what I do is I count how many columns I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then, and then I count how many rows I've got. One, two, three, four. So then I just need to do 16 times 4 and that, that will give me the answer. But wait, I don't know my 16th times tables. Oh no, how am I going to work it out? How about you split your array so you can multiply with smaller numbers, Miss Harper? That's a great idea! I'm going to cut my array in half. Let me work it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Maybe you cut this one. Wow, that's so much easier. So now I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 8 columns and four rows. I know eight times four is 32. And that must be eight times four as well. Eight times four equals 32. So 32 plus 32 equals 64. I have 64 dots! That's amazing, Miss Harper. So if the array columns or rows are too big for you to multiply, split the array into two pieces. Multiply the number of rows by the number of columns in both arrays. Then add them both together.